Good afternoon guys, this is the second video tutorial of this series general paper online course provided by alevelhelp.com and my name is Tila Casey and I'm following the first video with this video in the first video I talked about the fundamental question of what is general paper and then I went on to talk that it's nothing but the collection of essays then I went to talk about uh, then I went on talking about what is an essay and I told that essay is nothing but an argument then I talked briefly about parts of an essay and I said that essay has three parts that is introduction body and the conclusion today I'm going to focus in this second part I'm going to focus in the body of the essay so let me clear the board again okay the body of the essay is the part that comes between introduction and conclusion I know that's introduction and conclusion and I know that's kind of simple and stupid definition but if you have watched the first video I made, you might have already known that I prefer simple and useful definitions. And okay, body is part of the essay that comes with introduction and conclusion. And body has some things known as paragraphs. So I can divide the body into small pieces of paragraphs. So I'm going to focus on the body more, but let me start with the focusing on the small pieces called paragraphs okay so I'm currently discussing the body of the essay and in the body I'm discussing the paragraphs let me clear the board again paragraph one thing I have to remember about the paragraph is one paragraph usually only has one idea okay a paragraph should elaborate on one idea if you have more than one idea you use another paragraph so if you have more than one idea use more than one paragraph one paragraph should only go for one idea this is the fundamental mistakes most of the A-level students make they usually jam all of the ideas in a single paragraph that should never happen you just elaborate one idea in one paragraph okay let's discuss on parts of paragraph now like an essay paragraph also can be divided into three parts there's something as introduction in paragraph there is something as proof in paragraph and there's something called capping in paragraph or simply put you can say this as there is a topic sentence in a paragraph. What is a topic sentence? Topic sentence is the main idea of the paragraph, main idea sentence of the paragraph. And what is the second section? Proof. The proof section of a paragraph simply means prove it section. In topic sentence, you introduce an idea. And you in the second section, you simply prove it. And then what you do? At the end of the paragraph, you cap it. It's like you go to a friend and say that I'm the best and then you prove it by saying that all the goals fall for me and then you simply cap it by saying that so I'm the best so a paragraph simply runs in these three ideas you introduce idea you prove the idea you cap the idea or there's a topic sentence there's a prove it, sec prove it section uh, in the paragraph and there's a capping in the paragraph let me show you how it particularly works while writing a paragraph okay so let me write the those things again topic sentence prove it cap it let me start with a simple example of let's say Nepal for example if I say Nepal is a beautiful country okay suppose this is my topic sentence this is my new idea I'm, I'm stating that Nepal is a beautiful country so this is my topic sentence okay so I'm done with the topic sentence now I have to move it to prove it section I stated that Nepal is a beautiful country now I have to prove that Nepal is in fact 
beautiful okay so how do I prove it the first sentence is Nepal is a beautiful country I can say that Nepal has many majestic mountains okay Nepal is beautiful because Nepal has mountains okay I need further proofs one one proof alone is not that good I could also say that Nepal has diverse culture that is the second proof Nepal is beautiful because Nepal has diverse culture and third thing I could talk about is Nepal has okay let's say natural beauty okay so my topic sentence was Nepal is a beautiful country and I proved it by saying that Nepal has many majestic mountains and I further, further on went to say that Nepal has diverse culture then I furthermore said that Nepal has natural beauty now I have finished my prove it section now I simply cap it I simply said that oh sorry so Nepal is indeed magnificent okay one thing you have to remember is topic sentence and capit sentence they are same but they shouldn't be the same what I mean by that is Nepal is a beautiful country and Nepal is indeed magnificent they tell the same thing but while writing the capit section you have to paraphrase the topic sentence meaning that you say the same thing as topic sentence but you paraphrase it you you put different words but mean the same okay so this is how an ideal paragraph should look okay the example I stated here is a very simple example and there are no complications uh, the sentence are very simple short the paragraph is fluent but for a level you might have to add a notch up you might have to go a bit advanced than this particular paragraph okay so let me add one more level of depth in operation paragraph I told you that the paragraph has a topic sentence then I told you that uh, it has a prove it section then it has a cap it section now let me add a bit of surprise here the prove it section can be further divided into uh, the prove it section in the paragraph could further be divided into going in detail section or you could say going in more detail section or example providing section okay I was saying that prove it section could be further divided into going in detail section going in more detail section and the example providing section so the above paragraph I have written is a very simple one and if you write such paragraphs in let's say now a level general paper final you might not end up with very high grade so you have to add a bit more of space let me try to make a simple changes in the above paragraph okay I had uh, my topic sentence was Nepal is a beautiful country then I had tried to prove it by saying that Nepal has many majestic mountains now I can go in detail in this particular sentence I can say that Nepal has the tallest peak of the world Mount Everest yeah so here I did going in detail I discussed in detail about the mountain I said that Nepal is the tallest peak of the world Mount Everest that means I elaborated more on the mountain that is how you do in going in detail and going in more detail section and I somehow covered the example providing section too because in the same sentence I provide the example of the Mount Everest I could furthermore go on to say that furthermore of the top 10 mountains highest 10 tallest 10 mountains of the world Nepal has seven mountains I'm not so sure about this data though you guys should check it out and now my second sentence is Nepal has diverse culture that's the reason why Nepal is beautiful yeah but I have just stated that Nepal has diverse culture I have not gone in detail or I have not provided any example here I could go in detail now regarding the culture I can say that Nepal has 
36 ethnic groups living together peacefully yeah so this is my going in detail section and now my third sentence was Nepal has natural beauty I could add furthermore here and say that so again my sentence was Nepal has natural beauty here I can add uh, furthermore detail and say that Nepal has the Lake Tilicho at the highest altitude here I have provided one example and I have gone in detail a bit more so all in all now if you look at this paragraph let's read the paragraph together Nepal is a beautiful country Nepal has many majestic mountains Nepal has the tallest peak of the world Mount Everest furthermore of the tallest and mountains of the world Nepal has seven mountains Nepal has diverse culture Nepal has 36 ethnic groups living together peacefully Nepal has natural beauty Nepal has Lake Tilicho at the highest altitude so Nepal is indeed magnificent now this is a paragraph capable of getting an A in general paper okay guys this is uh, the second tutorial and I talked about how to write a paragraph and I talked about the body of the essay in the next tutorial I'm going to talk about uh, going in detail section I'm going to talk about how to add the thing called fluency or how to elaborate a particular sentence to make more sentence and elaborate it further thank you very much for tuning in and I'll keep on posting the new videos uh, till the next tutorial see ya and I promise that I would be done with the videos and the tutorial series by the end of uh, this month so that you guys have enough time to prepare for your general paper October November 2011 exam okay guys see ya and I need to run now to play football I hope I'll have a good game see ya guys bye bye